I don't find Harry Styles in a dress attractive. Wait a minute. I thought she was already married. Why is she concerned about other men? Then that means less men for me, and I don't want a man who wears a dress, and then no man, there's not gonna be any. Not having masculinity at all would be a real loss to us as women. Oh, that's right, that's right, because women cannot survive without males. Why can't we just let people be people? Well, Whitney, you're not letting Abby be who she is by judging guys who wear dresses, are you? Why are we so bothered by men wearing dresses? What's the real issue here? Hello there, gorgeous. My name is Whitney. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to one of Classically Abby's videos. Of course. Yeah, I mean, like, it's been, it's been a little while since we reacted to some of hers. This is, oh my gosh, public service announcement? <laughs> yeah, okay. Wearing dresses is trash. Oh, men wearing dresses is trash. Well, why is it trash? Is it because they're showing too much leg? Is it because they got a little bit too much cleavage going on? I mean, what's the big deal? Is it so freaking tight, you know? Because I know Abby's rules on women dressing modestly. So maybe, just maybe, she's got those same standards as she does for women, for men. Maybe she's uh, decided, you know what? Men should be held to these standards too. But you know, I highly doubt that that's the issue. So let's just get into it. Dang, she's, oh my God. The video will play after ad. Freaking, come on guys. The first thing I want to talk about today is something that kind of went viral on Twitter. And that was Harry Styles in a dress on the cover of Vogue. Yeah, that really happened. It's 2020. Anything can happen, it seems. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's 2020. Anything can happen. Men are wearing dresses. Okay. Let's, let's backtrack here. Um, do you guys remember like in, oh, okay. Well, you don't remember because obviously we weren't alive then, but do you remember hearing or learning about the Shakespeare times and stuff? Women were not allowed to act or anything. So men would dress up in women's clothing. Men would wear wigs. Men would be on the stage kissing each other and they would be pretending to be a woman, okay? So for a long time, men have been wearing dresses. And let's just take this. Um, in Ireland, men wear, well, you know, traditionally, uh, they were a kilt, right? So... So basically what happened is that Candace Owens commented on the fact that Harry Styles was in a dress. And so did a few other commentators on Twitter and it kind of blew up. Really, a guy wearing a dress is... It's not that big of a deal. Why are we even worried about this? It's ridiculous to be worried about it. It's the things we can be talking about and the things that we should be worried about are not <laughs> whether or not men are wearing dresses. But I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. Now, as somebody who really values masculinity and finds masculinity very attractive, I don't find Harry Styles in a dress attractive. Wait a minute. I thought she was already married. So it shouldn't matter to her what other men are doing. It shouldn't matter to her if she finds other men masculine or attractive at all because she's already married. Why is she concerned about other men? That's kind of suspicious. I'm, I'm kind of playing, but I mean, Well, you know, I don't find Harry Styles attractive at all. And that's just because I'm not attracted to him in any shape or form. I mean, yeah, the music is cool and everything and whatever, but 
I just was never attracted to him. It just wasn't. There are just certain people who I'm not attracted to and there are people who I am attracted to. I'm gonna tell you what. For a guy, if I'm attracted to him now, <laughs> I'm still gonna think he's good looking, whether he's wearing a dress or whether he is wearing um, a garbage sack or whether, you, you know, like, I don't know. The thing that draws me in, like one of the first things is, you know, the face and I'm going to say that if a guy I were attracted to was wearing a dress, I would kind of be like, why are they wearing a dress? But it's whatever. Doesn't matter because it's not hurting me. But um, I honestly, I don't think it would change my attraction towards them if they wanted to go out and wear a dress sometime or whatever. I mean, like, let's test that theory. Um, if you are a guy who's watching this right now and you think I find you attractive or would find you attractive, go ahead and take a picture of yourself without a dress and one with a dress. And let's, let's see whether or not you find somebody attractive a lot of times i mean for me personally like it to, to really be attracted some, to somebody i really need to know their personality because otherwise it's just based off of looks and you can get to know somebody based off of looks and then they become the ugliest person you know what i mean so and this is something that kind of became part of the joke is that people were saying, oh my gosh, Harry Styles in a dress is just my type. He looks so handsome. He looks so great. No, incorrect. <laughs> That's an opinion, okay? Everybody has different opinions. Some women apparently are attracted to that because they said that he looks so handsome in a dress or whatever. And of course there are some people who are trolling, but obviously there are people who do find it attractive. So for, for me to say, Abby, you don't look very attractive in what you're wearing. Now that would be an opinion. Is it right or wrong? No, it's just an opinion. It doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. And what you are wearing is not hurting me any. And I don't even know, honestly, what you're wearing. Like it doesn't, I was just using that as an example. There is no set guideline or set of rules, you know, onto, well, apparently there's supposed to be a set of rules, I guess, but whatever. I'm just gonna tell you this. Okay, so my cousin and I were born like a few days apart. So, you know, when we were kids and we were at grandma's house, we would play together and, you know, that consisted of playing dress up, that consisted of playing cars, that consisted of making mud pies, that consisted of, <laughs> there was croquet, that consisted of, playing on the swing set, it, it consisted of a bunch of different things. It consisted of playing robbers. My brother was born like a year and a half or so, whatever. So all three of us, you know, that's just how it was. We would take turns and you know, we all actually enjoyed doing all of those things. We had fun playing and you know, even they had both my brother and my cousin. We all had our little dolls and the boys, they had the boy doll and I had the girl doll. There's nothing wrong with that. And you know, sometimes wearing a dress is nice. Honestly, like in the summertime, oh my God, it is so freaking freeing. Except for when your legs, your thighs rubbed, yeah. Um, anyways. I think what a lot of people are so afraid of is, oh my God, they're wearing a dress. They're gonna encourage other people to wear dresses, other guys to wear dresses, and then the guys are gonna be gay. Oh my God, oh. 
I think we should be more concerned about whether a child is going to grow up to be a psychopath than whether they're going to grow up to be gay. And come on, like, you can't be taught to be gay or straight or whatever. It's just who you are. As somebody who loves the fact that my husband is a man and is masculine, seeing a man in a dress doesn't really do it for me. I'm gonna be honest. Well, then I guess it's a good thing your husband doesn't wear a dress. The thing about it is that I think that masculinity is actually really important. I think that men need to embrace the best parts of masculinity, right? Masculinity, just like femininity, can be directed in the worst possible directions, but it can also be directed in the best possible directions. And it's so important to embrace the best parts of masculinity and of femininity, right? So I guess the best part of masculinity is to not wear a dress? Women want men who are going to protect them. And that protective instinct is a masculine thing. Okay, so this has been a huge thing on this video here. I'll just link the card there. Oh my God. The guys in that comment section are like Abby in thinking that, um, I guess women cannot defend themselves. Like, have you ever heard that whole mama bear term when she went on mama bear on me or whatever? Like, oh my God, I know when you mess with my siblings, like, <laughs> mm. let's, let me explain it this way. All right. So yeah, I do want to be with somebody who would protect me or somebody else. But that's, that's the thing is I wouldn't want my best friend to be like, you know, something happening and she just like cowers behind me or something. I wouldn't want that in a relationship or a friendship or I, because that's, that's just not... You see what I'm saying? And I mean, it goes back and forth. Like, you take turn. Like, there's some things where you're going to need to protect the other person or the other person's going to need to protect you or whatever, you know? I mean, I'm not saying, like, if you're my friend, like, you need to protect me. I'm just saying, you know, we should probably protect each other and, you know, kind of take turns off that. You guys get what I'm saying? Women want men who want to support them. That's a wonderful masculine trait. Men in dresses, not so much. Okay, see, the same thing. I want friends who are going to support me. Now, is she talking about support, like, um, financially? I mean, traditionally, women weren't allowed to work. So that was the role of the man. Okay. And I think it's just people that get it twisted and just think that this is what it's supposed to be. And they have those set gender roles and it, they can never get out of them. But you know, in the same thing and like a friendship, it's not going to be like my friend always paying for everything or me always paying for everything. You know, we're going to take turns because that's how a relationship is supposed to work. At least in my opinion, you know, it should be 50-50. Men don't belong in dresses. In Western culture, it's not a thing. Men don't belong in dresses because men should be men. All right, here's a challenge for, for you guys watching this, for you males watching this video. I would like for you to put on a dress. Tell me, are you still a man when you put that dress on? Has anything biologically changed? I don't think so. It's a good thing for men to be men, not to be the worst version of men, but to be good, strong, capable men. All right, so for me personally, the worst version of men would not be men wearing dresses, in my opinion. In my opinion, the worst version of men would be abusive men, 
misogynistic men, narcissistic men, psychopathic men, you know, sociopathic men, um, men who are attracted to children, it's, you know, in that realm, wearing a dress is like not that big of a deal. The best version of masculinity is refining it and elevating it. But masculinity should still be there. Not having masculinity at all would be a real loss to us as women. Oh, that's right, that's right. Because women cannot survive without males, right? I forget that sometimes, you know? No, humans cannot survive without other humans. You know, there are tribes from wherever I, I okay there was this one in uh i learned about in history classes a long time ago but um it was an all women's tribe and what they did is they only would allow the men to come in you know to uh re repopulate and um that was it you're gonna be like oh but whitney see they still needed men well yeah in that form but in that same respect, men would need women in that way. You see? And I mean, you know what? There's not any shortage on men, okay? There's not any shortage on women. So I think whether you want to wear a dress or do this, that, whatever, that shouldn't be a big deal. Like, it's, it's not... <sighs> The whole idea of toxic masculinity really bothers me because the word toxic implies that masculinity in and of itself is poisonous, and it's not. Putting the word toxic in front of anything means that that particular thing for that, it, you're describing a certain situation, like a toxic relationship it doesn't identify all relationships as being toxic. It just is identifying that particular group, okay? So toxic masculinity is identifying the realm of the toxicness from certain masculinity, just as there is certain toxic femininity, okay? There's toxic in a lot of things, all right? Masculinity is a great thing when it's directed properly, but just like anything, masculinity can be an idol. So saying that masculinity has a really important role in men's lives is something that we should all believe and understand. And I know that strictly from the perspective of am I attracted to a man who would put on a dress, the answer is no. She's saying that only men can be strong. Okay, that's not true. Women are strong too. Well. Physically, men are usually stronger, okay? But <laughs> there are women who are stronger than a lot of average men, okay? So, it, oh, oh, I guess that means that they shouldn't be strong. Why can't we just let people be people? Why can we not just let them be who they are? You're like, well, Whitney, you're not letting Abby be who she is by judging guys who wear dresses, are you? No, because that's, that's wrong. I mean, really, why are we so concerned about this? I think the bigger question is, why are we so bothered by men wearing dresses? What's the real issue here? Well, Let's think about it. Okay, here's a thought. Maybe, maybe deep down, some women are scared that the men who want to wear dresses, if they don't keep that suppressed and they start wearing dresses, well, then maybe more men are going to start wearing dresses. And maybe, maybe that means they're gay. <gasps> well, uh, then that means less men for me and I don't want a man who wears a dress and then no man There's not gonna be anything uh -huh. I mean is that You know, but I mean like Abby she's already got a husband. It doesn't really matter It doesn't matter if she's attracted to men wearing dresses or not because they're 
if her husband isn't wearing a dress, unless those videos are for him to not wear a dress because she's trying to tell him in a way of not specifically telling him that she's not attracted to him because he's been wearing dresses. I doubt it, but you never know. She did say it's 2020, anything is possible, so. You know, I told my husband at our wedding, he wasn't allowed to wear a dress because if he did, that would take attention off of me and that's not cool. So, mm -mm. also, I think if a guy is filling that dress out better than I could or can walk better in it or looks better in it than I do, that's really gonna hurt my self-esteem. Oh, especially if there are straight guys commenting on it and they, they see that the guy wearing the dress, which they don't know it's guy, they just see the person walking from behind and they're like, oh damn, check her out. And then, yeah. You know, it, it probably makes those men uncomfortable. So, but, but why, why? Should somebody have to dress a certain way to make others feel comfortable? I mean, in certain situations, there are things that you shouldn't wear. When it comes to this kind of stuff, it's, it's not that big of a deal. So my sister, she would always dress up in dresses and she could twirl around and then you know the skirt would go, woo, woo, woo. So she loved doing that and our little brother, he, he wanted to do that too. So he would put those on, you know, and there was this one time he wanted to be a butterfly for Halloween and my mom's like, whatever, let him be what he wants to be. All of my brothers, when I would paint my nails and stuff, they would want theirs painted. Or, you know, when they'd see mom in her work attire and then she would put on her heels and she would have her jewelry on. You know, I remember one of my little brothers grabbing a necklace, putting it on and then walking around in my mom's heels, you know? Kids just want to be like what they see and they figure out through time as they get older, they're, they're, they're figuring who they are. They're figuring out who they are and they're having fun. It's not that deep and it really shouldn't bother you. All right, real quick, I wanna show you guys. Do you guys love my shirt? What the elf, isn't that awesome? Okay, <laughs> so if you think that people should be allowed to wear dresses, whether they're men or women, or whoever wants to wear a dress should be allowed to wear a dress. Put in the comments, those who don't think men should wear dresses, go elf yourself. <laughs> okay, because that's kind of funny, because the elf, okay, yeah, you get it. What video would you like me to respond to next? Go ahead and send them to me in Instagram messages or Twitter messages, or go ahead and link it down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it and uh, hit that like button. Also, just give me your general opinion in the comments below. Be sure to have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out any videos I post. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. To my current subscribers, thank you. You guys are awesome. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Whitney Haba. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, freaks. Sunset tonight. I'll stay here tonight. Or auton autonomy. Yeah, Fifi. So this one is actually going to be the one regarding. Well, let me pull it up here, okay? Tell me what you want, like I know your friends never like me, but it's alright. You can stay with me. Come and spend the night. I guess I have to find it first. To my house in the code to my Wi-Fi. Maybe I should type. Okay, hang on. If you have other videos you want me to react to, go ahead and send them to me. Link them in the description in the description box. Link them. I am going to be responding 
not responding, reacting. I'm gonna be reacting to. Run away now and just save yourself. One night, oh well, might as well try it. 